We are plodding along through Act 5, Scene 5 of Cymbeline. You remember about a week and a half ago when I said we're almost done? Yeah, we still have like a week to go of Cymbeline. And this is all in the very last scene because there's been a lot of stuff going on in this play. A lot of mistaken identities and letters going to the wrong people and people wearing the wrong clothes and, and all that sort of stuff. And in this last scene, all of it has to get sorted out. So um, one important thing to remember, yesterday... Uh, the day before yesterday, we learned that the queen is now dead and that she was a terrible, terrible person. And now they all know that she's a terrible, terrible person. And yesterday, Cymbeline and the king was half mourning her, but half like, well, she sucked and she's dead, so that's a thing. And then the Romans got paraded in <clears throat> because the Romans lost the war. And keep in mind, with the Romans is Imogen dressed as a boy, Fideli. So Cymbeline tells uh, Caius Lucius, who we get to hear from today, Cymbeline tells Caius Lucius yesterday that all of the prisoners of war are going to be killed. And Caius Lucius responds, Consider, sir, the chance of war. The day was yours by accident. Had it gone with us, we should not, when the blood was cool, have threatened our prisoners with the sword. But since the gods will have it thus, that nothing but our lives may be called ransom, let it come. Sufficeth, a Roman with a Roman's heart can suffer. Augustus lives to think on it, and so much for my particular case, uh, my particular care. The one thing only I will entreat, my boy, a Briton born, let him be ransomed. Never master had a page so kind, so duteous, diligent, so tender over his occasions, true, so feet, so nurse-like. Let his virtue join with my request, which I'll make bold, your highness cannot deny. He hath done no Briton harm, though he have served a Roman. Save him, sir, and spare no blood beside. So Caius Lucius is pleading for Imogen's life. Imogen dressed as a boy, Cymbeline not recognizing that that's his daughter dressed as a boy. And yeah, we'll see where I, we're just going to be plodding along. So I'm not going to give you huge hints on what happens tomorrow because it's quite possibly a monologue that's like two sentences after this one or something. So I'll fill you in on the interim tomorrow. But you have to tune in tomorrow to find out what happens right after this one. I'll see you then. <laughs>